all in your hand Within the past you we know day, day, day. Hey, hey. You got the old all in your hand Commando do do Commando Get caught and I get life. Everything is yes, go up for me. Me and not did to the room with the cutter. Now you make a favor for you know me. You make the blessing contain up on my door. And if I want to go out, oh, 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 talking about one of the things I enjoy most. We're going to talk about creativity. Yes. Today we're going to talk about your mindset and how you're able to use your creativity. But before we go right there, I'd like, to, I'd like to read a scripture to you. I'd like to read a scripture to you. I don't know if you could feel like excited I am because, you know, the world can't do without creative people. And because I'm a creative, I know you can too. So in Job 32 verse 8, the Bible says, But there is a spirit in within people, the breath of the Almighty within them that makes them intelligent. New Living Translation. So let's stick with that. So when you look around the world today, you could see that the world is striving because in this decade, people with creativity has emerged. They've applied their creativity and they've used it to change our world completely. The internet is an offshoot of creativity. So is TikTok app, so is Facebook, so are the music you enjoy, the, the, the house you are living in. Just look around you. Everything was fashioned by different set of creative minds. The chair you are sitting on, the data you are using to watch this, the TV screen, your phone, they're all crafted by creative people and if making a world a place where you and I can live, enjoy 
and take it to another level. People found books from trees. People found chairs from trees. People made cars, aircraft, the clothes we are wearing. You know, the jewelries, the sound, the air conditioner, the lights. All crafted because people put, put in their creativity, whether it was in the field of science, whether it was in the field of music, whether it was in the field of education, whether it was in the field of, of, of whatever you could think about it, engineering. Well, all done by creative people. And the thing about it is that all of us, just like we have read, have the same spirit of creativity inside of us. And that spirit makes us intelligent. So you would also find people, the dead Ray Charles, who was blind, but could, <laughs> could play music with the keyboard in ways nobody could imagine. And there are also people in the Bible. There's David who won the skill of leadership and of music. He played so well that a depressing spirit would leave Saul when his sound came out. He had such instruments in his hands. There was somewhere who had to learn how to listen to God, hear God's voice. He, he had to learn it. So the question now is not that you are not creative. You are. Let me say it again. You watching me right now, you are a very creative person. You watching me right now, you are a very, very, very creative person. However, how are you going to use your creativity if you don't own it? That's the question. So many people pass through this earth and they allow their creativity to die. They never get in touch with it. They never use it in the office. They never use it in school. They don't use it in life. They don't express it. That's the problem. And God wants you to express it because His Spirit is already resident in you. And that Spirit gives you the ability to be intelligent way more than you could ever think or imagine. So he imposes a spirit on you to allow you to bring out things from your inner man that is able to change our world for the better. For the better. Because you can use your creativity negatively, but you should use your creativity positively. So what do you have? What can you do? Can you write? Can you speak? Do you help people with creative ideas? Do you make things? Are you able to see three, four steps ahead of things before other people? Are you a great dancer? Are you an actor? Do you do voiceover? Do you edit? What do you do? What are you passionate about? What do you want to change in this world? What do you want to change in this world? If you identify that thing, then you need to sit down and practice. Practice. Go meet somebody to mentor you. Listen to videos and materials on YouTube. But you need to practice because your creativity would not come alive if you do not activate it. I used to be shy of cameras. Can you believe that? I used to even stutter. But now I can speak for hours. And not do, uh, 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 uh. But I had to practice. I had to learn how to speak with people looking at me. I had to learn it because my creativity involved me communicating with people and helping them change their mind from point A to point B. So are you a speaker? What do you like doing? Are you a great gamer? What's your creativity about? You, you, you need to decide that. You, so let me challenge you. Give yourself a 35 days challenge one year. They are going to practice your creativity for 20 minutes. 20 minutes for one year makes you among the top 10 to 20 people in your field, in your country. If you practice that same thing you want to do for one year, for 20 minutes every day, you'll be so good at it, so good at it, you can't be ignored. Because the world is waiting for you to change something. You see, and it, it, it doesn't always involve you bringing something that has never been seen before. It might involve you putting two lights together and making the light come up in a way that nobody else can. Are you a photographer? Are you, a cinema? Are you into content creation? Cinematography, whatever it is you are, you need to be able to own your creativity, master it, establish it, and bring it forth so that it reflects God's color on there. Because 
God has put a spirit in you that gives you a unique color that only you can express. And if you do not express it like the rainbow, one color will be missing. And, and your color can't be missing. Your color can't be missing. So, in a year from now, what is on your inside can show up on the outside. And God will be praised because his intelligence is not demonstrated through you to the humanity. Let me tell you again, you are a creative being because you were made by a creative God. So you are creative. You are creative. You are creative. Yes, you are creative. Make it come alive. Choose to own your creativity. Explore. Explore different things. Then find out the ones that brings out the best of your passion and expression and use it. Practice, 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 practice to the teeth. You have an audience with the king because you know what? You have God's spirit in you that makes you intelligent and say it with me, you are creative. Say it with me again, you are creative. So creative, amazing young people. So I come your way again. I love you. My name is Ini. Have an amazing, amazing week. Bye-bye.